In this video, we're going to take a look at the Logitech MX Anywhere 3S wireless Bluetooth mouse. This is a fantastic mouse for people who are always on the go, but who really want to have a more ergonomic and comfortable mouse with several buttons that can be custom programmed as well. You get two buttons on the side that you access with your thumb, you get a clickable scroll button, and you also get a button below the scroll button. All of these can be changed depending on what app is open, or you can just give them global settings. You can also adjust mouse pointing sensitivity and scrolling speed and many other parameters using the Logi Options Plus app. The MX Anywhere 3S works on a variety of surfaces with no issues at all. I've been using it on wood, glass, different desktops, and I don't use a mouse pad with this mouse and I've had no issues. So it's a great mouse if you're always on the go and if you're just getting it out of your backpack to work in a coffee shop or a co-working space. Logitech also has several really great quality of life features with this mouse. It lasts for 70 days on one charge and it charges with the USB-C. The box also includes a nice USB-C to USB-A cable. Additionally, the USB-C port is on top of the mouse so you can always charge it while you're using it and just use it old school like a wired mouse, which is really handy. If you're low on battery, charging the mouse for one minute gives you three hours of use. So that's another great feature that Logitech put in this mouse. This mouse is Bluetooth, but it's also compatible with the Logi Bolt USB receiver, though it's not included. You have to get this with a different peripheral or order it separately. One of the best features about this mouse is the fact that it has a device switching button on it. So this means that you can save three different devices on the mouse and you can seamlessly switch from one to the next. So if you wanna go back and forth between using this with a Windows computer to a Mac or going back and forth between your MacBook and your iPad, this is the mouse for you and it works so well with all different operating systems. I find it's really fun to use it with the iPad Pro. And before I haven't really used wireless mouses with the iPad that much because it's such a nuisance to change Bluetooth pairing using an Apple Magic Mouse. With the MX Anywhere 3S, you just press the device pairing button on the bottom until you get to the slot that you want. You have up to three slots to save different devices. Then just press and hold the button until the light starts blinking rapidly. Then get on your computer or your iPad and go to Bluetooth settings and it should be there and be ready to be paired. The MX Anywhere 3S is very comfortable and quiet to use. The clicking noises really aren't that loud either on it. They're pretty quiet. The scrolling does feel really good on this mouse. It has a nice tactile feel to it. By default, the mouse lets you change between a smooth or a clicky feeling scroll. And I find both of them are useful in different situations. The MX Anywhere 3S comes in black, graphite, pale gray, and rose. I got the mouse in black and I think it looks really great. It seems to be pretty resistant to fingerprints and smudges and it stays clean. It's got a nice flat matte look to it, which I really like. Now I also have the Logitech MX Master 3S and I've been using the Apple Magic Mouse for a long time. So gestures are very important to me to change between desktops when you have apps open full screen in Mac OS. Unfortunately, the Anywhere 3S does not have a built-in gestures button but you can reprogram some of the buttons to activate gestures. So when you press the button and then move the mouse, it kind of does what Apple does with their two finger swiping on the Magic Mouse or the Magic Trackpad. Unfortunately, you have to do this on Logi Options for every single individual app. So if you wanna make sure you can still use gestures to get out of Final Cut, then you have to set that up for every app you have custom settings on the Logi Options Plus app. So this is a bit of a nuisance compared to the gestures button. It's just built straight into the side of the MX Master 3S. Also, there's no side scroll button like on the MX Master 3S, but a cool feature that Logitech has built in is if you wanna do horizontal scroll, if you hold one of the side buttons while you scroll, it'll activate horizontal scrolling. That's a great way this mouse acts like it has an additional scroll wheel just by using the buttons that are built in. If you compare this mouse to the Magic Mouse for general use and for travel, this mouse does take up a little bit more space in your backpack but it's way more ergonomic and a lot better on your wrist for long-term use. I also find that all the different button shortcuts come in handy too compared to the Magic Mouse. I think the thing that I miss the most about the Apple Magic Mouse though is the fact that it just works so well scrolling with no buttons. You can just touch and slide across a web page or an app effortlessly using the Magic Mouse. So I do really miss that, but for using more precise mouse functions and just for general comfortability, the Anywhere 3S absolutely beats the Magic Mouse. I do see a lot of people are running these with the Magic Trackpad on the side too. So that's a cool way you could integrate Apple functionality 
while also having better ergonomics for mouse type use. I would recommend the MX Anywhere 3S if you're someone who does a lot of traveling, remote work, working out of coffee shops and co-working spaces, because it's a lot more compact than the MX Master 3S, and you still get some of those great functionality, comfortability, and just customization that Logitech products always offer. This mouse retails for about $80, which I think is a pretty fair price for this because it gives you so much comfortability and customization in a decently small package. It's also just a lot more comfortable to use than an Apple Magic Mouse. But overall, I really like the MX Anywhere 3S. I highly recommend it. And if you're interested in buying one, I have links in the description below. If you make a purchase with any of those links, it helps support the channel at no additional cost to you. If you have any other questions about the Logitech MX Anywhere 3S, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you found value in this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any upcoming content. If you're mostly doing desk work in one spot and you don't move your mouse around as much, I would recommend you check out my video review of the MX Master 3S mouse because this mouse gives you even more customization and it's just a little bit more comfortable to use and it has that dedicated gestures button. 